Have you ever wondered why we depict the devil as a goat? This story will make you wish you never knew the answer. What I'm about to tell you isn't just another urban legend or a dark fantasy tale. It's a warning. A warning that came too late for the inhabitants of the small town of Shadow Valley, but one that might save your life someday. It all began on a moonless night, when the silence in Shadow Valley was shattered by a roar that seemed not of this world. The townspeople, accustomed to their quiet rural life, felt something had changed in the air. Something ancient and evil had awakened. The devil, that ancient being who has tormented humanity's dreams for millennia, was furious. For centuries, humans had depicted him as a goat, mocking his image, reducing him to a simple caricature of hooves and horns. His anger had reached a boiling point, and he had decided to give them a real reason to fear goats. On the Garcia farm, the oldest family in the valley, a coal-black goat appeared. Its eyes glowed with a reddish gleam that seemed to pierce the soul of anyone who looked at it. Old Garcia, known for his wisdom and temperance, felt a shiver run down his spine when he first saw it. There's something wrong with that goat, he told his children, something that shouldn't be in this world. At first, the changes were subtle. Flowers withered in the animal's wake, milk turned sour without explanation, and the town's dogs howled ceaselessly through the night. But then, things got worse. One morning, all of the Lopez family's cattle were found dead, with strange marks on their bodies that looked like ancient symbols. The following week, little Tommy Williams disappeared while playing near the bar. All they found was his cap, stained with a black liquid that smelled of sulfur. The goat began appearing in the most unexpected places. Townspeople swore they saw it at their windows at night, watching them with those infernal eyes. But the most terrifying thing was that it didn't always maintain the same form. Sometimes, it was a shadow walking upright on two legs. Other times, it took the form of people who had disappeared days before. Father Thomas, the local priest, tried to bless the town and exorcise the creature. They found him three days later in the church bell tower, his face frozen in an expression of absolute terror, while the church walls bled and crosses hung inverted. Madness took hold of Shadow Valley. Neighbors began to suspect each other, never sure who was really human and who might be the goat in disguise. Disappearances multiplied. Some tried to flee, only to find themselves inexplicably returning to the town again and again, as if trapped in an invisible maze. One night, during an apocalyptic storm, the true massacre began. The goat, now the size of a house, roamed the town streets. Its eyes, previously red, were now portals to hell itself. Its bleat had become a shriek that made ears bleed. One by one, the townspeople fell, their souls torn from their bodies by an ancient and vengeful force. At dawn, Shadow Valley was empty. The houses stood like silent tombs, mute witnesses to a night of indescribable horror. The devil had achieved his revenge, creating a legend that would make humanity truly fear goats for the first time in history. But the story doesn't end there. The few travelers who venture near Shadow Valley report seeing a black goat standing in the middle of the central square, motionless as a statue. They say if you look directly into its eyes, you can see the reflection of all the souls it has consumed. And the most terrifying thing is that the creature continues to expand its territory. Each year, more nearby towns report sightings of a black goat with infernal eyes. Each year, more people disappear without a trace. And each year, the devil smiles, knowing his revenge is just beginning. So the next time you see a goat, especially if its eyes seem too intelligent or its presence makes you feel inexplicably uncomfortable, remember this story. Because maybe, just maybe, you're not looking at a simple goat, but at the devil's instrument of revenge. If this story chilled your blood, don't forget to leave a like and share in the comments if you've ever had an unexplainable encounter with an animal that seemed different. Subscribe to our channel for more stories that will keep you awake at night, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our terrifying narratives. Remember, some stories are more than just tales, they're warnings.